A military service is something that you know, I'm absolutely going to uh, perform sometime in my, in my lifetime. Um, you know, this commitment to, to public service is something that's near and dear to me and uh, I will serve in the military in some capacity, whether it's by returning to West Point if repeal occurs in a timely manner or if it's commissioning via, via a different commissioning source. Um, but I will serve my country in one capacity or another. Former West Point cadet Katie Miller on this show last year before President Obama signed the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. At the time, Cadet Miller had just resigned her commission at the U.S. Military Academy ahead of her junior year there. If this country ever did away with the ban on gay and lesbian troops serving openly, Ms. Miller told us she would ask West Point to take her back. Congress passed the repeal. Three months after that interview, President Obama signed it into law on December 22nd. And so Katie Miller did, in fact, reapply to West Point. Yesterday, West Point told her she could not come back because of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Quote, at this time... <clears throat> Former cadet Katie Miller has not been offered readmission to the U.S. Military Academy. Uh, while the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy was recently changed and will be repealed, the effective date has not yet been determined. Ah, the effective date. You may recall some cumbersome asterisks that went along with the excitement around the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell in December. Congress passed it and the president signed it, but it rolls out slowly. There's some kind of training and then there's certification that it is safe to repeal. Then randomly, 60 days of just waiting, even after everyone says we're ready and the trainings happened, but before the repeal takes place. That random 60 days when nothing happens except more discrimination, even though the training has been done and everybody's all ready, that little 60 days of nothing but you still not having equal rights for no operational reason, that was a little present from Senator Robert Byrd before he died. The senator doing his part for your civil rights even after death. At this point, the most optimistic guess for the repeal timeline to actually repeal the policy is September. Um, in the meantime, there's the matter of Katie Miller's education. She has been at Yale since leaving West Point. She's just been elected captain of one of the school's sports teams. She has told us that she understands why West Point had to turn her down. And although she is disappointed, she says she will not be reapplying again. She was ranked in the top 10 of all cadets at West Point, but she will get her degree from Yale instead. She says she then plans to join the military through officer candidate school. Katie Miller released a written statement yesterday that said, quote, I harbor no resentment toward the military and I look forward to the day they deem it appropriate for me to put the uniform back on. Someday she will be able to. Uh, in the meantime, Don't Ask, Don't Tell is still keeping people out of the military who want to serve and who love the institution enough to say uh, what Katie Miller has said, that there's no resentment and she's ready when they're finally willing to accept her service. Joining us now for the interview is Katie Miller, who is a spokesperson and board member at OutServe, an underground organization of more than 3,000 gay active duty U.S. service members. Uh, Katie, thanks for your time tonight. Hey, thanks for having me. Um, what was your initial reaction when you found out that West Point had rejected your application? I, I, I was absolutely devastated. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I know I'm going to serve in the military in some capacity. This is this is a given. Um, but I was really hoping that I could return to West Point and do it uh, do, via that commissioning route. Um, yeah, it, this is something that you know people ask me all the time. Uh, why did you reapply? Do you even want to go back? And the answer is yes. West Point is something that's very much part of me and my personality. And um, it, it's a shame that I won't be returning. You are um, you're saying that you are looking forward to the day the military deems it appropriate for you to put the uniform back on. First, I should just say, personally, strikes me as um, something that is way more generous than I would able to be, be able to be in similar circumstances. But um, when we talked before, when you were resigning, uh, you said that you looked to rejoin, rejoin if they repealed it in a timely manner. Do, do you think that the implementation of the repeal is being rolled out inordinately slow? I mean, I think the military... I think the training, um, you know, has no real purpose, and that was a political scheme uh, in order to to appease uh, the Joint Chiefs of Staff uh, when they said that they they needed uh, th this training, uh, you know, to learn to serve with gay service members, um, you know, despite the fact that there are gays have been serving for for centuries. Um, so I, I don't think there's a purpose really to the repeal implementation training, but I think the Department of Defense is trying to expediently uh, implement the repeal. When you have been talking to um active duty service members who are gay people are still in the forces um, now through your work in OutServe, what are you hearing from them about gay soldiers' perspective on this training happening? How, how is the training going? It's about 100% dependent upon unit leadership. Um, if, if the unit commander uh, comes out and says, you know, this is what we're 
what we're doing, we have equal respect for everyone, and there's no uh, foot dragging involved, uh, then, then the repeal is, or, and then the training is going, uh, is just going fine. Um, you know, it, overwhelmingly, I think uh, both straight and gay service members are saying that, you know, this is much ado about nothing. Um, it, this is not a problem and this will not be an issue. Um, however, been, there have been, um, you know, reports of, of um, for example, there's, a, there's an officer at West Point who seemed to be doing some foot dragging during, um, during the training and little did he know there were three uh, gay cadets uh, sitting in, in his presence. Um, so it, it's really just dependent upon the unit leadership. When, when you resigned uh, from the academy, you said being uh, forced to lie by the policy caused a relentless cognitive dissonance, made it so you felt unable to live up to Army values. Uh, you said the policy had taken a significant personal, mental, and social toll on you. It had detrimentally affected uh, your professional development. Um, after these last few months um, at Yale of not being in the military, of not having to live under that policy anymore, how do you feel about those same issues? I, I feel so much more complete, you know, as a person. Um, I've been able to to reflect upon my experiences and uh, really put into perspective, um, you know, what it was like to be a, a gay cadet at West Point. Um, you know, and, and I think I, I've I've grown uh, in a way that that West Point couldn't have offered me. Um, you know, be a, being true to myself um, by restoring my integrity. Um, but at the same time, I, I haven't been able to grow at Yale um, in the same capacity that I have at West Point, and that's by fulfilling uh, my military ambitions. Last question. Um, did I hear right that you just won a Truman, a Truman scholarship? I did. I did, ma'am. That is a huge deal. <laughs> yeah. It's a really, really, really great scholarship. Congratulations. So thank you so much for having me. Um, are, are, does that mean you're going to grad school and officer training school? How do you balance? How do you anticipate that happening? Um, I mean, there's some logis logistical work to, uh, to be done on that, but uh, I hope to uh, go to grad school concurrently while uh, being a, a military officer. Well, the Truman scholarship so. is a huge deal. Congratulations. So thank you. Thanks, Katie. Katie Miller, former West Point cadet, now finishing junior year, year uh, at Yale. Okay.